Hi, today we'll talk about deepfakes. The word deepfake is a composition of two words, deep learning and fake. Deep learning is a class of machine learning where multiple layers are used, and fake refers to the faking of something. In the case of a deepfake, it's usually replacing someone's face with someone else's face. It can also be used to transfer poses and more. But how can we create a deepfake? It's possible using autoencoders. If you didn't see my last video, I recommend you checking it out, because there I tell you everything you need to know about autoencoders. Ok, back to deepfakes. When working with deepfakes, we have an input and a target, and we will need lots of data of these. But there are already state-of-the-art networks that can do this with only one image of the target, which is awesome. With these images, we will train one encoder and two decoders. The encoder is shared, and the input and target have their separate decoders. By doing this, the network learns the features that both images have in common, and how to encode them. So when training, we let the network train on two things, reproducing the input images and reproducing the target images. The first is done by encoding the input images with a shared encoder and decoding them with their own decoder. The same with the target images. When done training, we can encode an input image and decode it with the target decoder. To help the network, we can focus on the thing we want, like the face. For example, by using face detection and only sending the face through the network. And that's about it. But what I just said is an oversimplification. Usually there is a lot more that's happening, like key point detection, etc. If you want to learn more about this in detail, check out 2 minute papers videos about deepfakes. He also makes videos about state of the art machine learning papers, improvements in physics simulations, rendering and more. I tried to make a deepfake myself, it didn't turn out great, but it was an experiment and I only did the most basic steps without key point detection. So it was expected that it wouldn't be great. Let's see it in action. Now the model is training. The example that you can see here is with the cat and face the dataset, like I promised in the last video. On the left you have the input and on the right the output. The first two rows are the input and target with their respective decoder. The last row is with the decoder of the target. After training, I let the model run on a video of a cat, and this is the result. It's alright, but not amazing. I hope to see more head rotation. At least the color of the cat and the face match, which I am happy about. I hope you learned something. To see how this is done professionally and which results state of the art deepfakes have, check out 2 minute papers videos on deepfakes. It's a really cool channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments. If you have a question or know something that I could do better, also leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!